Thanks for sticking with us here on WTO 11 News at 530. We're starting right away with team coverage, getting you prepared for first alert days on the way. Chief Meteorologist Robert Shields and Meteorologist Ryan Weekman in tonight with everything you need to know. So we want to start off with Robert. When does all of this begin? Well, the snow will start coming down pretty good about tomorrow at about this time. So about 24 hours from now and the heaviest of the snow will take place into the nighttime and very early morning on Thursday. Our forecast calling for three to five inches for the Toledo area and just south of here, maybe a touch more. Here's timing for you tomorrow at noon. The chance of snow is still a long way off after school hours are looking pretty good. And once we get to 6, 7, 8 p.m., the snow will begin to fall and increase in intensity. I think most accumulation here in Toledo will happen between 8 o'clock and about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. That's when we'll get a good solid 3 to 5 inches. Here's a satellite view of our area. It is mostly cloudy, but the next storm system is still a very long way off. And we're tracking it from near the four corners and trying to pinpoint exactly where the heavy snow is going to fall here. I'll have a closer look at that coming up. Now let's go over to meteorologist Ryan Weekman. Ryan, some kids have Friday off. The weekend's looking good. Do you think the snow's going to stick around? The snow's going to stick around for a good time. And you know that temperature has to be just right, right, Robert? It can't be too warm. The snow melts. Mm -hmm. Can't be too cold or, you know, it's just too cold to go outside. Yeah. So going to be interesting for us here over the next 48 hours as not only the snow comes in, but the cold does as well on the backside of this system. We've got one of the first times this year an Arctic cold front that's going to be coming in. So just when the snow's shutting off Thursday into Friday, the coldest of the year is going to settle overhead. And I'll tell you what, it's not going to take much for us to achieve achieve our coldest high temperature of the winter so far. That's only 22 degrees as you're going to see coming up in the 10 day forecast. We're going to easily beat that as we go into our Friday outlook. Now when snowfall is coming, City and ODOT crews, they have a lot to prepare for. So Michael Tater joining us now live from First Alert Defender with more on how they're getting prepped to keep the roads clear. Michael. Well, that's right, Christy. Right now we're on South Burn Road in South Toledo. Today's really been the calm before the storm. We had beautiful weather earlier today. Um, so that phrase fits perfectly for today. Taking a look at the roads right now, we're stuck in traffic getting ready to turn onto South Burn Road. Uh, things are pretty clear in terms of no snowfall yet. Um, things are clear unless you count the traffic, of course. But a lot of that snow that we got from last week, the three inches, has melted away. But this time tomorrow, those flakes will be starting to fly and we will see snow blanket much of our area uh, and that's been the the story of our winter so far a storm system almost every week dropping a little bit of snow but this will be the first significant accumulation possibly up to six inches across the area snow crews are out right now pre-treating those roadways and they will be out even across uh, tonight and into tomorrow as Robert um, had mentioned uh, snowfall is not expected to start until the evening so as of right now uh, crews are out on the road if you see them give them plenty of room to work so that we can all be prepared for tomorrow live in first alert defender Michael Tater WTOL 11. Michael, thank you. And with the impending snow, we all know everybody goes out and stocks up at the grocery store, right? Kaylee Kirby at Churchill's in Perrysburg. Kaylee, is the store pretty busy right now? Yeah, Dan, stocking up is exactly what some people are doing right now. It doesn't look too busy, but you guys did just miss the rush. We did have a lot of people with a couple people waiting in lines. You can see they've got four aisles open, making sure that people are getting what they need as soon as they can before that snow hits. We've got some people, you know, just getting normal groceries. Other people that I talked to said they were stocking up, you know, making sure they've got salt, bread, chips, snacks in case, you know, the kids are at home, things like that. But other people, you know, they're just doing their normal grocery shopping. They're not too worried about the snow that's about to hit because they've been preparing. They've been listening to what we've been saying and they understand that the snow is coming and and they're prepared for it. So right now, yeah, it's not too busy. People just look like they're doing their normal grocery shopping, but store managers expect that to be changing. Uh, as early as tonight and then all the way up until tomorrow night when the snow does begin to stick and hit our area and stay here. Reporting live from Walt Churchill's Market in Perrysburg, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11. 
Kaylee, thanks. Now's the time to make sure you have our First Alert Weather app, the way you can track it, what's coming right along with our First Alert Weather team. It's free download on your smartphone or your tablet. So when it comes to snow, what do you consider a significant snowfall? Two, four, six, more than that? What do you think? They're going to go for eight, <laughs> more than six inches. Well, we want to hear from you right now. Vote in our poll at WTOL.com slash vote now. Or you can go to our WTOL 11 app. You can see some of you have voted right there. And it looks like six inches is winning. It looks like more than that. Running there. Any amount of snow for me. <laughs>